What's up everybody? Welcome to the third Tuck and Demi show. It's what we're going to call it, the Tuck and Demi show because it's on podcast, it's on webcast, it's on your Facebook. Quit tapping that because it's going to mess with my audio. Um, so uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, thank you for all the shares and likes and everything that we've been getting. Um, apparently you guys are enjoying it a little bit here in our stories. I got We have a good one today because I don't know this whole story yet. So I remember being told this story from Demi and uh, I'm really excited for you guys to hear it because it's pretty epic, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lead it with this, all right? In what was it? What did we say? 2008. I think it's 2008. 2008. I thought it was Ish. 2007, but that's fine. Who cares? Okay. I get a text message from Demi saying that, uh, bro, I'm in the uh, Bahamas and I think I'm about to die. Uh, uh, I'm about to die. He didn't say that, but that he, you know what? Your voice probably did crack when you were typing. I'm about to die, I was, bro. I, I was, I was, I was letting people know. I was like, I want you to know where I'm at. Yeah. So Demi got yeah. himself into a situation in the Bahamas. Were you cornered in a nightclub? Let me just kind of tease with that. Did so, you Did you get cornered like a little bit? A little they bit. They were swanking up on you. A little bit. Like, it's about to go. We about to kill like that the dude guy. from the Green Mile was about but to, Samoan kind of was about to thing. kill him. You he had he had some questions. Okay. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He had some questions. All right, so. But I was good, though. Okay, so. I think. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to let, De- I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of like interview <laughs> type Demi so I can get the good stuff out of him, okay? So, 2008. Yeah. Um, how did you get yourself, like. What, ha- how, what, what how'd this happened? How did this all start? Why were you going right. to the Bahamas? All right, a uh, mutual friend of mine um, uh, who deals in music as well, uh, not making music, but management and you who know, shall like, remain nameless yeah just it's not important you know not at this point um hit me up one day and was like hey man um you're allowed to shop other people's music to universal motown right i was like yeah because i can scout music i mean we were signed with them and maybe we were just getting out of the deal or something but we were still friends with people there and yeah obviously if i find talent they're all ears you know so i was like yeah i can i scout why and he's like well, man, he's like this guy, a uh, friend of mine who lives in the Bahamas, is throwing this talent contest, and he's going to have different people there from different labels, and you basically, you'd be a judge, and judging this different talent and things like that, and, you know, the winner, you know, you can take their stuff and try to go get them a deal. Like, wow, well, I can try, you know. Uh, <laughs> but well, how we get into the Bahamas, man? You know, and he was just like, "Oh, the it'll be paid for. Your flight there and back will be paid for, and there's room and board. I know the guy; he's really cool. He does these things, you know, once a year, every couple of years or something." I'm like, Hell man, yeah. that sounds awesome. I'm okay, out. so so I'm going. You know, I went and got my passport, went, took the plane, went through customs, yada yada yada, got there. Uh, got he, picked up by this dude. Yeah, this guy. This guy. This guy's. Was he the one organizing it? Yeah, he was, yeah, the guy who was putting the whole thing together. Uh, so he picked you guys up from who, the airport. Who will remain nameless as well. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, honestly, I don't even remember his name. Okay. <laughs> but uh, picked us up from the airport, beer in hand, driving around drinking and shit. Uh, apparently that's legal in the Bahamas. S- scared the shit out of me, honestly. But we, he'd ride by cops and be like, hey, what's up, buddy? You know, and they would just kind of shake their head or whatever. Yeah. So how, like, long, okay. how long were you there? I think like a week. I want to say a week. The trip was a week duration. I think it's a week. So the first day, what happens first day? That I remember, I think he just, he was trying to impress us. You he know just what I mean? Just taking you around. Yeah, like, yeah take us to doing? eat, and just drinking. And I mean, breakfast was basically like, you know, this Caribbean style huts. And we'd go out there and get like rum and, you know, <laughs> bananas and chopped strawberries and shit. And, you know, it's like. Right, so, so you were getting the treatment. Because we got the you treatment. Were, you were affiliated. Yeah, because I was. I, you know, a scout for Universal, which technically I was. Um, <laughs> like how you keep reiterating that. He, I, I I'll was. get there. I'll Check get it there. out. I was. I'll get there. Yeah, so I mean, they were just giving us yeah, the okay, treatment and everything. And I, and I think, like, the first <clears throat> the first talent showcase was, like, in the, in a couple days or something. And Well, let me ask a question about that. The, the talent showcases, yeah. was there... Was it going on at different places, or was it all like one thing, like on some uh, no, on like, some X Factor type? Or? No, it would be at, at one venue, one, and then it'd be at a bigger venue, and but then were it'd you be guys at, at all bigger of them? Venue. Like, how many yeah. judges were there? Oh, I, I don't, I don't know. 
eight, ten, or something. Okay, so you all probably were like people going from, from different from, labels, from venue and, to venue. Yeah. Okay. And he would throw these events, you know, and people would pay to get on these shows to, to get in front to of get this. in front of yeah. us yeah. and you know other people. I mean, we even went on like the main radio station in the Bahamas, whatever that is. I don't remember that either. And uh, well, it like, was cool, like telling the, people to come out and. Yeah, and th- that we were there, and it was yeah. a big deal. It was like the whole island was popping, you know, talking like, about it, right? So uh, you're, you're with Universal, uh, yeah. And I'm see like, what happened. I'm like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know people. I'm like a to- scout for Universal. <laughs> I'm also an artist with Universal, you know. And I kept, you know, yeah, you kept letting saying them know that, like, that yeah, yeah. because what I noticed like an was insu- like insurance. Like I, I had said, it's important because I noticed on these flyers, and I even said something to the dude I was with. I was like, man, these flyers say they don't say nothing about scouts. You know what I'm saying? It, it says representatives, and it said uh, executives, executives A&Rs. A&Rs, and I am not an A&R or an executive by any for, means. For I am person. a scout. <laughs> all right, all right. So let's so, uh, so let's let's get to it then. Okay, so so at some point, I, I know this from the conversation that me and you had. At some point, shit went south, and people started questioning your um, well, yeah. Because it, it wasn't just me, though. Yeah, they weren't just questioning you. It was the whole thing in general. Because yeah. apparently this guy had thrown them before, and executives didn't show up. And now if these people are paying like $20, I don't even know what they're... Because I didn't get paid like to do it. I mean, other than the flight there and the room and board and shit like that, which I guess is kind of getting paid in a way. But it wasn't like we were a part of this scheme and making money off these people without any way to get their music to uh, labels. You know, because in my... I'm just a scout. I can take your stuff from yeah. point you, A to you, point B. That's you what know? you were offering from that's the get-go. That's from the get-go yeah. is what I said. But it started, you could kind of start to feel like people, they were really getting their feelings hurt if, like, they didn't win, you know, to get into the next round or, you know. And I'm over here like, you know, I, I could tell you if something's, you know, good or bad. You know, I, I don't have to like the music, but I could tell you, you know, and there's there was so many like Rastafarian type blum, 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 blum. I didn't understand any of that shit, but I could tell you who the best out of the blum blums were, if that makes any sense. Makes sense. And it was a lot of like those different artists. And there was a couple really good artists, too, and they obviously like made it to the next rounds. But then you'd have a lot of butthurt people that come from this island and that island. And they started set. They're like, well, who, you know, I had people also I'm like, well, who you work for? You know, who you will. Well, are you the president? You know, show me your ID and all this type of shit. And I'm like, you know, like, who get who? Like, I'm a scout, dude. Like, basically, you got the wrong dude. You need to t- holler it. He's like, well, who's running this and who's running that? And it was like a lot of hot headed people over this shit. And I was just starting to kind of be like, man, this is weird. Like, but you know, it's the music game. People are haters and they probably been stuck on that island their whole life and shit. And it's like their, their big chance to like get off the yeah. island or something. I don't know. You know, I'm just like a lot of struggling people over there that saw this as their yeah. way out, and then when they found yeah. out that they might have been paying into something. Well, we even said something to the dude that brought us there, and he's like, "Man, don't pay attention to them, man. You know, they're broke ass haters. They're this, they're that. Don't pay no attention to it." I'm like, "All right, you know, cool." And uh, like one night, you know, because I was in the whole time, I just wanted to find some weed. You know, and <laughs> you'd be surprised that you, that you just couldn't find no weed there, which made no sense to me at all. And this dude takes us to this strip club, right? Oh, wait, the, the guy that organized the whole the thing? Guy, yeah, like okay. the main guy who flew us there and stuff because okay. he wanted to show us a good time. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't really roll like that. You know, like it wasn't a strip club. Well, why are you like it was talking a, with this I don't fire know, man. The whole time? It was basically like a whorehouse. I'll just go ahead and tell like you. Like a legit whorehouse? A legitimate rooms in the back. They gave us a tour and it was the nastiest thing. Island just. <laughs> rags and pillows and shit oh yeah off in this room and, and then there was like a big shower in the middle where like oh. people oh man it was gross oh. you know and i ain't man, I can smell it you best believe i ain't touching none of that you know so but so did you thought you were going to a strip club thought so so i i immediately went back to this little booth area and ordered a beer and i'm just kind of sitting there and i'm like man i just you know trying to find some weed you know man this girl like wouldn't leave me alone and uh turns out she was paid for by the guy who brought us who thought he was going to give me a good time like you know like and i get that but i wasn't and i i had to tell the you know her and i'm like i'm just not doing that like i'm not feeling that i'm not trying to go home with well i didn't tell him that but 
in my mind, I'm like, I'm not trying to go home with like whatever. I'm not catching nothing. Not to mention all the mandingos and shit walking around there. I couldn't do nothing to them anyway. So like, I, it just wasn't my scene basically. And then he starts asking me and he's all like, he's like, get out of here. He's like, what's up, man? I mean, you gay or like, what's oh, your problem? No. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm not gay, man. I was like, I got a girl at home and shit, which was a lie. I was single, and, like heartbroken at the time. And, but I still like, you couldn't have paid me to do that. Well, that is we, disgusting. It was man. terrible. But we got out of there smooth and everything was all good. Ended up finding some weed and yada yada, whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. let me, we I, get to I'm the, doing a bad job interviewing. That's that's crazy, I'm glad you told us that. So, when, when did the shit, I want to know when the shit. I'm gonna get there. When, when you text me and said I'm about to die. That's when I, I got this was text. Cracking. It was the last showcase. It was like the final finals. You know what I mean? And there were people that were playing and it was like a show and a lot of people were showing up. I remember it being like an auditorium kind of, it almost reminded me of a headliners, like if you are from here, uh, but with chairs, maybe mixed with a house of blues kind of thing. I don't know. It's all kind of fuzzy. <clears throat> Again, I was drinking like mojitos for breakfast or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, we get there and I noticed some familiar faces um, somehow from like in the game. I think people from labels look familiar. I don't know. I probably met them along the way or whatever. But I, as I was sitting there, this giant of a human comes up just <laughs> You know, he's like, what's your name, man? You know, I was like, Demi Demery. He's like, where you from? You know, I'm like, Louisville, Kentucky. He's like, who you with? <laughs> like, what do you mean who am I with? I'm with this guy and this guy, you yeah. know? He's like, no, what label you with? I was like, well, I'm a scout for a universal. He's like, you a scout? I was like, yeah. I was like, I, which means I can take somebody's music and show it to people at universal, yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. get them a deal if they like it, whatever. He's like, but you ain't no, like, president. Or you ain't, you know, you ain't an A and R, is what you're saying. I was like, never claimed to be. He's like, cause on this ticket right here, it says A and R's and uh, yeah, Pre executives. Executives. Yeah. He's like, and you're not an executive or an A and R. So what are you doing here? Oh like, shit! I like, I got flown here. <laughs> At this point, Demi's in like fight or flight. To judge I'm like, I'm these a, people, Hobie's about to smash me out right now. I have no idea. And I and I and I'm like, he's like, he's like, man, I think it's best that you just get on a plane and go back home. And I was like, damn. I was like, why? He's like, there's a lot of pissed off people here. He goes, and you're being honest with me, and I appreciate that. He goes, but I've been asking everybody who comes in this door if they're an executive, and I ain't met one executive. He's yeah. like, you know, and he's like, no offense to you. He's like, but you're a real pale, light-skinned white dude from the States. He's like, and you're dealing with a bunch of really broke island kids right now that think that they're getting ripped off. And they will smash you and, out, and homie. He's like, he's like, where are you getting paid to be here? Where are you getting paid to be here? I'm like, I'm not getting paid to be here, man. You know? Yeah. Like, the, I, I wanted to come to the Bahamas, and yeah, I got asked to do this. Free trip to the Bahamas, this, this, listen to you know, some music, yeah. He's like, I'm well, he goes, he goes, man, I'll tell you what. He goes, shit might really go down in here tonight. He goes, and you're being honest, man. He's like, I can keep you safe, though. And I'm like, oh, damn. What you mean you keep me nah, safe? Nah. He's like, why don't you just? He's like, why don't you just roll with me? He goes, and, and uh, we'll go explain this to some people, just that way. So when shit does happen, uh, you ain't the one involved in it. And I'm all like, oh my god, I'm on an island, y'all. <laughs> you stranded, bro. I know one person there, like for real. Then the guy, okay, then the guy who put the whole thing on, who flew us there, oh, walks yeah. up, did, and did, he's like, and he knows this dude. He's like, did, man. Don't be trying to scare my home homeboy. Blah blah blah. You know what it is. Blah blah blah. And they start like getting into it and oh, shit. Damn. And I'm like, uh, and I got I got the Samoan dude like, come with me, man. You don't want to be seen with him. Trust me. And oh, this damn. other dude's like, what you know? What you gonna do? What uh, you gonna do? You know where I'm at. Blah 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 blah. Uh, you know. And I'm all like, they gonna start shooting shoot. or cutting and each other and shit. You were with him. Yeah. So I just, I, I'm, I didn't even know what to do. I was like, all right, well, I know this guy. I don't know you and you're scary. So I got in his car and I'm like, bro, what's going on? And the guy I came with was like, should we leave? <laughs> and I'm like, I, I don't know, man. You talking about who like, the, who brought, from here? Yeah, yeah from oh, here. Oh God, he's white he's as like, hell. He's like, should we leave? <laughs> I was like, yeah, we probably should leave, man. He, and, and the guy's like, nah, man, screw that. He's like, he's just trying to intimidate you, man. He's pissed because this artist suck. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, trust me, man, ain't nothing going to happen. I'm like. All right, man. So I went in there, and then I had these two ladies walk up to me and pull me to the side. She's like, "Who do you know at Universal?" Oh. I was like, "Jolene Cherry, Amy Nadu." Yeah. She's like, "So you know them?" 
So if I call them right now and say that you're Demi Demery yeah. and you're a scout for Universal, they're going to say yes. I was like, do it. <laughs> they called, couldn't get Jolene on the phone. Nobody can get Jolene yeah, on nah, the phone. That doesn't but happen. Amy is the one who answered the phone. Shout out to Amy for saving my life. I told her all about and this, And you know too. you pronounce her last name Neto, by the way. We've been pronouncing it wrong for 15 years. I just Sorry. figured that out. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. And uh, she she apparently talked to them because them girls came right back, got off the phone, was like, hmm. So you know Demi Demery. You do know Demi Demery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amy says hi. <laughs> Tell her I said what's up. <laughs> yeah. Tell her I said hey. these motherfuckers about to kill me. And they walk over. They're like, I'm sorry. He checked out. He checked out. The radio dude rolls up. The main radio guy, main station, the Bahamas comes up. He's like, so so you're legit. You're legit. I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh my god, you need to come on the radio, like right now, like uh, right <laughs> now. You need to come on the radio. And I need to prove to all these people oh that you're God. legit. You got verified. To the whole you got to the island. <laughs> you got verified. I'm like, I was like the whole island. He's like, man, it's about to get bad up in here. Oh, and I'm like, God. oh hell no. The whole island was so, coming to murder <laughs> down yeah. on Demi's pale yeah, ass. Yeah, that's right. Get me. <laughs> and just two nights before, we was rapping on, you know, at somebody chicken shack or whatever. I even gave my good hat to somebody. <laughs> they probably threw it in the trash. But uh, hey, I want to hear about yeah, that. so I went on the radio and everything, and uh, you know they were like, "All right, you know." You were like calming the masses. He's like, here. Yeah, the, they the calmed DJ the masses. Was like, he he's, checked out. Everybody. He's like, he checked out. He's we, legit. We talked to Universal, so guys, don't think this is this is a real deal. He's like, this guy can get you. <laughs> oh my god. He can get your music <laughs> to Universal Motown. It's been verified, dude. Everything's oh my. fine. Everybody just needs to calm down. The island needs to calm down. I'm on the radio talking about this shit. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it's and straight. You I know, had been, I just was I had been texting to Tuck, music. yeah. He told me and about Tim to and a few other people. I, like, bro, <laughs> I'm about to. I don't even know what I'm ready to do. Like, just about like to if happen. I die, I'm in the if Bahamas. If I die, this is what happened. You know, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe this is what Damn, happened. Damn, I wish I would have saved those text messages. Man, and so because you did, did like tell me the story in short. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it, it was probably more more detail because yeah. I was scared to death and just. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, the, so the show went on. Uh, no drama happened that I'm aware of. Um, I got a bunch of apologies. Oh, that's good. Which, yeah, yeah, because they was either going to shoot me or hug me. Yeah. Because I'm the guy that can get their music to the states, you did. Yeah, and dude, that shows you how hungry people are Hungry for music. as they like, will kill you yeah, type which, shit. Like, to it get was not, heard, they are just, like, willing to kill or willing to hurt someone over it if they feel betrayed. They, betrayed, betrayal. <laughs> and I understand that to a degree, but I'm not, I don't live on an island. You know yeah, what I mean? No, so, it's a little but I did here. meet some really, really cool people down there. Uh, some of the just golden good people that I'm still, like, friends with. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, on Facebook, and we talk to each other and stuff. So uh, a lot of people showed us a whole lot of love, you know, especially once they realized that I was honest. You know, I didn't – I never claimed to be an executive. I never claimed to be an A&R agent, president, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm a scout. I can get your shit to Universal Motown. That's why I'm here. That's what I was asked to do. Anything outside of that, go holler at your boy. Because that ain't got nothing to do with me. And I checked out. <clears throat> we checked out. Dude, I came with. We was all straight. Uh, the show went on. Uh, everybody had a blast. I, I got. I came home with like a box of just all these different artists. And I found like the five best ones that I thought that like, you know, they might actually like. I gave them over to Universal. Don't know if anything ever happened with it. I but don't you know. Did what, you did what but you did set what out I to do. But I did what I said I was going to do, yeah. and I'm here to this day to talk about it. <laughs> You're not dead. I'm not dead. I have no diseases, and there you go. we good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was over. I thought it was over for me. That dude, that is honestly terrifying. You know, it, it might not seem like that scary until no, you're it, the one there. Yeah, it does to me. You're like in a foreign country. They I, they're mad at you. And to me, if the DJ would have come to me and been like, "Hey, you need, hey, we need to get you on the air right now," like <laughs> you went <laughs> like uh, amongst their music community, there you're probably one of the <laughs> most hated people there at the time. Like they wanted to, they to, they needed a scapegoat. Yeah, exactly. And if they if they thought that I was in there just making money, yeah, on they, them, yeah, and I wasn't even really, even though you weren't, they that thought, wasn't the case. But th I mean, there ain't they no telling so. what they thought. Yeah, it doesn't know? matter. You know, you you they don't they didn't have time to ask questions. They they just wanted somebody to pay for it. 
and it was gonna be you because you were lying. And you best believe, but you weren't lying. You best thankfully. believe I made sure that I got you know some records in the Universal's hands. Yeah, so like, they hey, like checked you like. <laughs> I did my part, homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay honest. Yeah, for sure. Don't don't lie. Don't fake the funk, because you might end up in some place with people that will hurt you very bad. Over some shit. Over some shit o like that. Over, uh, you know. if they, whether they were betrayed or not, they felt like it, and they probably right. had a good reason to at the I, time. The same people who was probably going to come up in there shooting gave me hugs. Yeah. You know what I mean? It worked out. So, so uh. That's it. That's it. We, we could go on, but we're going to try to keep these things under 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, I got to go, man. I got to. Yeah, he's got to do his thing. So, um. Yeah. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna do as many as these as of these as we can in the future. Well, there's no set schedule to them. We just kind of do them when we have time. Yeah. So uh, we'll keep telling stories. And like I said last time, somebody sent me a good message last time about something to talk about. What was that? Do you remember what I was texting you about? No. All right. Um, send us any ideas, something that you may have heard of in the past or something like that. I think next we might talk about the time that we almost. Had a television show on MTV. Yeah, you do that? yeah, we can talk about next that. next one. Beverly Billbillies. We're going to talk about the Beverly Billbillies on our next episode. What it should have, could it didn't. Yep, it was going to be on MTV. It was legit. We shot a, a trailer, yeah. flew out, met with executives at MTV and everything. So yeah. we'll tell that one next. So uh, until then, peace.